Okay, true story. Uh, the other day I walk into our wonderful offices here in Larchmont, Los mm -hmm. Angeles, and uh, I stroll in and I, I hear that uh, our talent coordinator, Maddie Ogden, is chatting away. She's terrific, by the way. She Love is her. She wonderful. is great. She has this amazing sense of style. Uh, she's very funny. Funny and comic in her own right. She's a very funny uh, stand-up comedian, and she also greets all the guests when they come in, she makes them feel right at home. She puts these baskets of food. I encourage you, if you haven't been a guest on the show, be a guest just to meet Maddie and get the snacks. Yeah, okay. Those and you, are good snacks. you do not have to be famous. Uh, trust me, that's the new culture. Anyway, Maddie was talking, and she apparently had had some dental surgery, and sort of they excavate the tooth a little bit, and then uh, if you clean it out too much, you get something called dry socket. Ooh. That's oh. where. Literally some of the nerves, and I know this is gonna freak some people out, but some of the nerves in the jaw get exposed and it's temporary, it goes away. But what you have to do is you have to put uh, a little bit of a medication in there that numbs the pain. Okay. So you have to literally drop this medication down into this little hole in your tooth and it numbs the pain and then you're fine, okay? okay. This brought back a memory, a repressed memory that I have, Okay. okay? And it's a story about what an amazing man Andy Richter is. That's, here's how it goes. A number of years ago when I'm doing the late night show, back in the old days in New York and Rockefeller Center, I had to have this work done on my tooth and they said, we're gonna finish this up later, but you should be fine. You're gonna have some pain. Um, so here's what you do. Get someone on your staff to, here's a little vial of liquid anesthetic. Get someone on your staff to take these little balls of, um, of cotton, tiny, and dip and soak them in this liquid anesthetic, and then reach back with tweezers, and here are the tweezers, we're giving them to you, and drop them into this part of your tooth. So I go thinking- How big is the hole? It's like a little hole in your tooth, not that big. In the tooth? Yeah, okay. so I'm getting to it. So I, I, I think, oh, this'll be easy. And so I, I, I get to work and I think, wait a minute, who do I ask to do this? And I'm, I'm, I'm kind of looking around, I'm thinking, you can't ask an intern, and I'm not gonna ask my assistant, this is just weird, I don't know who to ask. What am I gonna do? Maybe I could yell at a writer. No, these writers, they all have, you know, they're all addicts and stuff, their hands shake, that's not gonna work. So, you know, I'm, I'm telling the problem to somebody, and I'm saying, uh, yeah, it's starting to hurt now, and Andy Richter, God bless his soul, my on-air sidekick says, I'll do it! What's the big deal? So anyway, for about two weeks before the show, he's dressed up, he's in makeup, I'm dressed up, I'm in makeup, the band's playing, but it, I don't know why they did that song. Um, <laughs> and I'm in my dressing room and Andy would come in and go like, it's, you know, 4.30, time to go. And he would <laughs> take out the stuff and he would, like an expert, he would dip the little cotton ball in there and then it'd go open wide and I'd open wide and um, I don't know why he's Roseanne. Yeah. And then <laughs> he'd reach way back there and like with the, seriously, with the skill of an eye surgeon, he would drop this little pellet into the hole. This was pretty small and it would go down and land perfectly and he'd go, all right, Let's go do the show. Oh my God. Like, you know, did Regis oh. ever do this for Kathy Lee? Oh. Did Ed McMahon ever do this for Johnny Carson? That's special. This is yeah. special. That's nice. And I just thought, I, it just gave me this reminder that like, I think I, I blocked all of that out. You know, whether you're on a cross country drive or on your daily commute, time in the car is perfect for listening to podcasts like, I don't know, this one. <laughs> <laughs> T-Mobile covers more highway miles with 5G than anyone. Their network helps keep you connected to all your favorite podcasts when you're out and about. Mm -hmm. I gotta tell you, I like to road trip sometimes. I do too, and I, I have T-Mobile, and I, I can honestly say there's coverage. That's important, like there's been times in my life where I'm out on the road, driving around, and uh, especially on those family trips, you're out in the desert, you wanna make sure you have that coverage. Yeah, what if you get, like, your car breaks down and you're just there? Sitting there like a chump? Yeah. With no coverage? Yeah. <laughs> Not this guy. I've got T-Mobile, got 5G. Find out more at tmobile.com slash C-Y, that's S-E-E-W-H-Y. What'd you do for Andy? Um, I remember trying to push a $5 bill into his hand when it was all over. And he uh, was in... Five? Yeah. You could've gotten him a nice gift. I thought, I said, hey buddy, 
Go out in the town tonight, it's on me. And it was a five dollar <laughs> bill. Five in yeah. New York City? I know. That I know. doesn't do anything. I don't know. I was a child of the depression, so I thought no, you you he can he can no, I mean I was very depressed as oh, a child. Right. Oh, right. right. But I thought he could go out on the town. <laughs> My mother used to do that when she would send us to the store. There were like six kids and she'd, she'd give us, you know, a quarter and say, all well, of you get sodas. <laughs> and tell Franklin Roosevelt I said hi. Uh, but we used to go like, mom, you can't get, we can't all get Cokes for a quarter. Well, I think you can. Uh, but anyway, I was just, I had this sense because Maddie brought it up, I thought that's unusual. That's That's the kind of, I was lucky, lucky yeah. to no, have a real friend have like Andy. Return the favor to her and put her little pellets in her mouth. No, I think in today's climate, that, uh, would, that would be creepy. Yeah, yeah. You did, you, know? mar- you did officiate his wedding recently, so that's nice. No, and to be seri- to be honest, I I didn't press a five dollar bill into his I hand. I know, no one. It was seven dollars. <laughs> oh, that wow. that's more believable. Crinkly old, <laughs> fucked up ones, <laughs> most of which were taped together. Oh. <laughs> But anyway, I just had a, this is a memory of something that I remember very clearly. And, and also what an unusual, you know, we had a, you know, a TV show that was on a network and it's kind of a big deal. And we have this big studio and big guests and no one would ever believe that if I told them that it's literally minutes before we go out there and do this show. And Andy's saying, "Ah, Conan, have a seat. You're right, Andy. It's time. Open your mouth. Dip, 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 scorch, scorch. Bombs away! <laughs> I'm surprised you guys actually didn't do this on the show. Like, I know we should have it. done it on the show, but uh, no, I think it's okay. <laughs> I will say, I will say this: whenever that stuff used to wear off, Ooh. man, Ooh. that would uh, you'd feel you'd you'd feel that yeah, that would feel that. Get so it. yeah, I get it. But anyway, um, Andy Richter, a great man and an incredible dental technician. Oh, he's so, he's not. Well, he's yeah. I think he's actually. Being schooled right now, oh. he learned. He said, it "Was like, oh, this is fantastic." <laughs> you inspired he's, him. He's one of the best in Beverly Hills. It's a side, <laughs> it's a side hustle for him. He makes millions of dollars a year, and that's all he does is drop little anesthetics down tiny holes. <laughs> I wish I hadn't said tiny holes. I know, but it happened. 